How would you like to take control of your own Star Wars hero, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, or even Emperor Palpatine, commanding legions of rebels, Jedi, stormtroopers, and star destroyers in a new strategy game? In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys five reasons why you're going to want to check out the brand new Star Wars Unlimited TCG. So I bet you guys are wondering what kind of deck I'm having fun with right now full of Jedi, lightsabers, and the Force. Come check it out. Hey all you Star Wars fans, thank you as always for clicking on my video, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And a little like goes a long way, it tells YouTube I make good content, thanks a lot guys. Let me first preface by saying this video is not sponsored. So I cannot believe you guys, I'm coming up on my 300th long form video here on YouTube, and in most of those videos, I tell you guys, I cover anything Star Wars. And this is definitely something Star Wars. So to put it really simply, the idea behind Star Wars Unlimited is that you pick a leader, you pick a base, and you use those colored cards to create a deck that can allow you to attack, defend, heal, and be the first one to destroy the opponent's base. Here's a picture of my son and I going to our local card shop at the pre-release where we got to enjoy and try out like a miniature version of the game. Leave a comment down below if any of you guys have ever tried a trading card game and what your experience was with it. So let's get into the five reasons why I think you guys should give this card game a try. So down in the description of this video, there'll be a link to my Discord. I'll be adding a new link for Star Wars Unlimited, talking about strategies, decks, and game questions. Number one. In my opinion, this is probably like the most important reason to try this super fun Star Wars game, is that it brings people together. It's time, you guys. After this video, put your phones down, turn off the screens, put down your video game controllers, and start spending time with your friends and family in person. I started Family Movie Night, and I love it and look forward to it every week, but like watching a movie next to my kids isn't the same as enjoying doing something with them. And any strategy game, especially this one, is really great to keep your mind sharp, and coming from a father, I think this is an excellent game for all of your younglings out there who are going to be learning strategy, critical thinking, and quick math. Reason number two. All things considering, this can be a very inexpensive hobby. It's a trap! As of today filming this video, you can pick up this product on Amazon in a link down in the description, but also you're going to want to check with your local card and comic book store. So I picked one of these up. This is the starter deck for the first series called Spark of the Rebellion. So for only $30, you get two complete decks. So the decks come with Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker. They each have a base and a full deck of cards that are going to get you off and running to play. And there's always a light-sided and a dark-sided friend, am I right? But it actually comes with not just any cards, but some really good cards, and especially some that you can only find in this box set. This is the perfect way to try the game out. Find a friend, a neighbor, one of your kids. My little guy, Lannikin Skywalker, he's, even though the game says 12 and up is recommended, he's nine years old and he picks things up super fast and we're having a great time together. If you love the game and you want to take the next step, the next thing you want to do is probably pick up one booster box, which comes with like 24 packs, which are going to be filled with more rare and legendary cards. And I'm going to show you some of the ones in my deck in a little bit. Reason number three. So the opening weekend before the game came out, I met this really nice guy who said, he was tired of playing video games that were going out of style, dumping 60 or $70 per game that he'd only played with his friends for like three months. And that's why he took up trading card games. Just currently while I'm filming this video, there was a message from Fantasy Flight Games. The message says that the popularity of this game has completely exceeded their expectations and they've run a little bit low on available product. They do have product though and they're gonna be sending it out in controlled waves. I just found out today from a buddy that in a few months we can expect another set of cards with some awesome heroes like Kylo Ren from the sequel Star Wars films. Yes! <laughs> I believe Fantasy Flight Games has mentioned on their social media they've already got seven sets that are going to be spanning the next several years that they're going to release. So this game is only going to be surging with popularity over time. 
Reason number four. One thing that makes this game so unique, a lot of other trading card games, what happens is I'll take my turn and I'll do this and attack and I'll heal and I'll switch and I'll trade and I'll attack again and then do this. And I'll do all this stuff and you can't stop me from doing any of it. But with Star Wars, it's it very much is kind of like a battlefield type of situation where you take turns going back and forth, having to strategize which units to deploy and attack with in which order. Not only that, but there's also an area for ground units and space, just like the battles in the movies. On the ground, you could be deploying Jedi and troops while your enemy could be sending out TIE fighters and Star Destroyers. That adds a whole nother level of strategy to the game on how many of your units are gonna be on the ground and in space. There's a YouTube channel you guys wanna check out if you're interested in this game called Unplayable. Group of guys, they're super funny, and I love hearing about them talk about the different cards and decks, having differing opinions, and talking about their strengths and weaknesses. And reason number five, I can tell you from experience that pretty much everyone I have met in the TCG community has been super nice, friendly, patient, and accepting of new people to the community. We need that kind of positivity directly injected into the tukus of all Star Wars. If you pick up a starter deck and you're really having a lot of fun, call up your local card stores because some of them might be doing organized play for Star Wars Unlimited. They might have casual leagues, daily tournaments, and there's different ways that you can have organized play, whether you bring your deck that you built yourself or you kind of build one spontaneously from packs you open that day but you're bound to make a friend or 12 when you go and play Star Wars at your local card shop. So I bet you guys are wondering what kind of deck I'm having fun with right now full of Jedi, lightsabers, and the Force? Come check it out. So check out this stellar hyperspace game board, Game Genic. So here's my leader, Chirrut Imwi, and my base is Kestro City. I can make a combination of cards using blue, heroism, and red. So I'm gonna put my leader here and my base up there. Now here are my awesome ground units I'm gonna be putting down during my games like Jedi Master Yoda. And by the way guys, if you join a league at your local card shop, you could grab some cards that look like this. Oh my gosh, this card is so beautiful of my favorite Star Wars character of all time. By the way, guys, if you want me to show you guys how the game is played, strategies, and share with you everything I know about the game, like, comment, share, and let me know that you want more content like this mixed into my normal lightsaber galaxy's edge antics. So I love this card. I need one more to make a set because you're allowed to play three of each card in your deck. Next, I have Kanan Jarrus, who is strong, and for every time he attacks, he does heal your base, so he's super helpful. Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, and when you open packs of these cards, you might get some really beautiful looking foil cards just like this. What's unique about Obi-Wan is he's what's called a sentinel, so he acts as kind of a bodyguard, so your opponent has to attack him before they can attack your base. And of course my deck wouldn't be complete without Luke Skywalker, my second favorite character of all time. Epic, legendary card, super strong, heals your base for three, and when he hits the board, he can likely take out an opponent instantly. Here are my Force cards, starting with this awesome card called Force Throw. As long as I have a Force unit on the board, I can either discard one of mine or an opponent's cards and do that much damage to another opposing unit. The art on this card is so awesome. It's called It Binds All Things, but you can take that healing and throw it back and damage an opponent unit. Next, Chirrut the Force is with me. As long as you're controlling a Force unit, give it a shield and then attack with that same unit, whether you want to attack the base or another opposing unit. And lastly, my set would not be complete with a Jedi lightsaber. So whatever unit you attach this to, gets three extra damage and health, but also when you attack with it, it reduces the strength of your enemy. And lastly, I gotta have some space units up on the board. This restored arc 170 heals my base every time it attacks. This green squadron A-wing does some serious damage, let's say doing three damage when it attacks. And also the behemoth 
Redemption, which happens to be a foil card. This massive unit is a medical frigate. <laughs> it's a bodyguard ship, and when you play it, you can heal a ton off of your base, which could help you win the game. That gives you an idea of the cards in my deck that I'm playing with. I know I'm not playing with Luke, but there's a reason for that. It's because Churit has a special ability. Not only does he help you throughout the entire game, but also he comes out sooner than Luke on turn five. When you have five resources built up, you flip him over and he becomes a unit on the board and you can start taking over with him. Hey guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the end of my video. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are taking care, being safe, and having an awesome Star Wars day. See you next time, guys. Yeah, woo!